New details tonight on the new ideas that Troy Dannon has for Husker Sports. Nebraska's athletic director believes NIL deals can help bring in new athletes. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson spoke with an NIL group that's working with Dannon on what the future could look like. In our early talks, it sure sounds like we're going to have a great partnership and, and we're really excited about it moving forward. It's been nearly three years since name, image, and likeness became legal for college athletes. And collectives like the 1890 Initiative were formed here in Lincoln to help student athletes build relationships and make money in their communities. Several Huskers have benefited from NIL, including volleyball's Lexi Rodriguez and future quarterback Dylan Riola. And UNL's new athletic director, Troy Dannon, wants to put even more emphasis on it moving forward. If we're going to compete, if we're going to recruit and retain, everybody in this department has to support what lies ahead for student athletes to be a part of the economic model of this. 1890 President Matt Davison says NIL has become a major factor for some prospective athletes. Those used to be all the key elements, uh, who you were going to play for and, and the facilities and all those things. And now NIL is another piece of that as student athletes are looking to where they want to spend the next four or five years of their life. Davison thinks Dannon's experience will bring a unique perspective to Nebraska. I'm anxious to see Troy Dannon's ideas and the things that he brings to the table, um, the, the things that he's seen at the other places that he's been that, that we maybe aren't doing here at Nebraska. And so we're looking to grow. We're always looking for new ideas. Dannon and Davison agree that by working closely together, NIL deals will be a win for everyone. Mackenzie Johnson reporting for us. Davidson says fans play a big role in NIL deals as well, and he believes with such a strong fan base here, Husker athletes could have a lot of opportunities at UNL.